Hey, orange one here. So this is going to be the start of the actual first episode here. Um, in the previous thing was just setting up the character. Uh, we're playing as a, a centaur named Alfred Centauri. He's going to be a little bit of a tinkerer. He's going to um, be familiar with technology and, and use technology a fair amount. Um, so I'll let you read through this if you want. I don't like reading out loud because A, I'm not a very good reader, like I say things wrong half the time, and also you guys can read through at your own rate. So we can start here and you can move around. I'm I'm this dude down here. I hit four I go that way, I hit six I go that way, so on and so forth. Um I gives you your inventory, and I think F lets you shoot. And then I think it's kind of like um, Cataclysm, where if you want to attack something, you just move onto the tile it's on. So we have arrows. We already have a grenade, a phase shift grenade. Um, so if we hit enter, we can look at that. Oh, we actually have the data disk. We don't actually have the grenade, so if we if we want to be able to build those, um, we can just learn it and carry that around. A phase shift grenade might be useful, but we might be able to get something from here that's a little bit um, more practical. Ulnar simulators are stimulators that probably is a similar thing. Ooh, those those sound good. So if we can build those, we're gonna need components B, A, and 3, as well as this needs D, C, and 2. So we'll see what components we have. We've got um, B, A, we do not have a 3. And we do have C and D, but we do not have a 2. So to be able to craft either one of those things, we're going to need to get some materials from a trader, most likely. We do have cloth robes and tunics on. Um, this is armor, this is um, dodge values, and then damage for weapons is, is next to it. So it's like a, a dice roll, and it actually shows you what the dice roll is. Um, we also have a shield equipped and drams, that's a unit of water. Water's basically the money in this game. And I hit C and then a direction to talk to someone. So this is a met and he can tell us a little bit about Joppa. And if we ask him for work, he'll send us to Red Rock. This is considered like the starter quest of the game. Um, we can do a water ritual with him, which will cost us a little bit of resources, but then we might be able to learn something good from him. So now this one village doesn't like me as much. Um, and then he can teach you recipes and skills. I don't want any of those skills though. Alright, thank you buddy. And there's also, um, what do you, yeah, if you hit O you can close doors. There's no one in here with us. So we can actually open up this chest, and because the door is shut, we should be able to take what's inside. And it looks like um, we're in the clear. Also there's a zealot yelling out right here. Uh, where is the zealot? How do we, how do we just look? Okay, L is look. And then you can go up and down and see things. Ooh, uh, Tam's in a new place. Tam's like the the trader. He he does love mercantile things, so he's a good person to know. This is kind of an exploit, but a lot of people do this at the beginning of the game. They check out what these uh 
these things have for us. Yeah, I'm gonna take all that. Gold nugget, or copper nuggets, that sounds really useful. Um, this weird artifact, it's one pound, so I bet it's like a grenade or something. But we can look at it, and it doesn't really tell us much, but if we try and examine it, I think we've got the right skills where we should be able to do this. Yeah, we've got a stun grenade. Nice. Um, how do I equip the stun grenade? Actually, can I equip the short sword for now? Yeah, it's better than our bronze dagger. And let's see, where's the um? Oh, we didn't even have the shield equipped. Where's that grenade? That's got a D and a B on it. Oh, we've got a defoliance grenade. What's that? Probably kills plants, huh? Um, also, you can hit 7 to go to your character sheet. And we can look at our skills as well. We've got a couple good skills, I think. We've got disassemble, repair, lay mine. That's actually really good. Um, we can make camp. Oh, that's new since I had played. You didn't have to make camps to cook last time. Um, we don't know how to cook any food, do we? That's gotta be something we're gonna want relatively soon, so we can be a little, we can live off the land. Um, if we look at our equipment, oh, our horns, nice. We haven't got anything on our face or our back. Our hands. Okay, well. I think that we're probably good to go. There is, there's Tram, but there's also this like little tech dude over here. Um, what's his name? Argive, I think is how you'd pronounce it. He wants a knickknack. So he just wants like any old artifact. So I have an artifact on me. So I can give him my defoliance grenade. Um, hold on. Chat. Argal. Yeah. Give him the grenade. And hey, we got the um He wants another artifact. Uh before we do that, Argyle. Uh, let's just see what you have on you. Um, got fried processing core, which we could use, I think, for our ulnar sim stimulators, right? No, we need a three for that. A three or a two would be nice. If a three or a two. You do have a two. That's for the grenade. It does, that's going to cost us a lot though, so I'm not sure if I want to do that just quite yet. The other thing is maybe we can get a... Um, an item that we can craft from him, but it's gonna, again, that's gonna cost a lot. I'm gonna leave him for now. And let's talk to the trader over here. Wait, where's the zealot? Oh, he's up there. Oh look, there's a... what's his name? Zestifus. This is a, a, a meme in the um, Caves of Cat world. That cat, a lot of people really like them. Oh, the Dromads, by the way, um, they're kind of like camel people. 
Uh, so let's see. Do you have a gun or anything? I bet that's a gun. That weird artifact. Doesn't have much for. Oh, actually, he's got a desert rifle right there and a musket. At the very least, I feel like we should have a short bow. Let's see what we can buy with what we have here. Got 10 there. And I've got 31 drams. So I can get 40 drams. Um, and we could sell them this book. We got like 50 drams. Yeah, we don't have a lot of drams, but we can get a... I don't think we can get a short bow. Can we... I think we're gonna need that short bow. We've got arrows, but we don't... I don't think we have a bow right now. I just want to double check, though. Um, equipment... Yeah, we don't have a bow. Let's do some trading, Dromad. I need that bow. <laughs> so if we give you that... And our Copper Nugget... And this book... Need another 20 or so. I really want the ulnar stimulators. I don't think the phase shift grenade we we need. So that's what, 83? Compared to 71. That'll leave us with a little bit of water. Yeah, let's do that. Um, maybe we'll sell the bronze dagger. Um, I don't need to give you all of my torches, but I'll give you some. Give you like 18 of them. Maybe one of the water skins too. We don't need these extra water skins. Yeah, let's offer that. Yep, that's fine with me. I desire nothing. So we have some vine wafer. We've got some goat jerky. Let's equip the uh, short bow. Then we can reload it with steel arrows. And we can actually head out of here. Um, I think A is abilities. Yes, A is abilities. Oh, we have recharge. What does recharge do? Um, hold on. I wanted to just really quick check our skills page. Our first priority needs to be making food. We're going to need Harvestry or Butchery. I think Harvestry makes sense because we're going to have a lot of plants around us for a little while. Alright, well, um, let's go ahead and start exploring. Oh yeah, let's just go ahead and show that map. So this is the map. This Everything stays, like, Red Rock stays in its place. Um, like, this little mushroom village stays in its place, but what's on the tiles is random. So, I think, from what I remember, traveling around like this 
is actually better than going on the overmap most of the time. And if we look here... Um, this is salty water, so you can't drink salty water, of course. But there is um, sometimes just fresh water around. I don't think there's any fresh water in Joppa, though. F1 unlocks it. There we go. Yeah, this is salty water. So I hit F1, that lets me look at wherever I want to look. So we can't drink the salty water. Basically, you have quenched and sated, like, your thirst and your hunger, and if those needs don't get taken care of, you will die. And so it's like, yeah, you've got water is kind of like your, your money, but it's also a really important resource, so you want to be kind of careful with that. So if I look at this guy right here, a glow pad is a pretty weak enemy. Um, if I hit F, I can select that target and shoot it. I think I missed that time. Um, so if I look at it now, it's fine. I'm actually just going to get a little bit closer. There we go. Um, so that glow pad... Got some experience from killing it. What's our experience like right now? Where would that be? Character, maybe? Yeah. Oh, I see. So we've got 85 right now. We need 135 more. Did I lose all of those arrows? Oh, I thought, I thought you could pick up arrows from the ground. That's why I was being kind of wasteful with them. These guys are average to us, so I think that we can attack them relatively safe. We hit them with our uh, our torch. I think we also hit them with other things, but I'm not sure how to do the combat log in this game. Um, controls... I just want to just double check. Um... Can I look at my attacks I've done recently? No. Does not look like it. I'm sure there is a way, but I just can't figure it out right now. So actually, we can melee these things just fine, so I really should have been meleeing them. Ooh, he actually... Making us bleed. Um, did I get bandages? I think I might be about to die, because I didn't get bandages. Am I bleeding still? No, I'm not bleeding. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait a little bit, get our health back up to 15. They are actually, by the looks of it, still hurt. I'm just going to go back here because there was a... Wait, hold on, if I... No, 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 hold on. What am I doing? Oh, I'm trying to get the water, that's the salty water. Salty water is worthless, so I'm not going to pick that up. Oh man, they actually... It is kind of hard at first there. Let's just wait a little bit. I just kind of want to get to level 2 before I dive off into more combat. There are little, like, coyote things that I want to go to war against. 
but it's going to take us a little while before we're ready for that. And we'll, we may actually get forced into combat with those, so I'm not sure yet. Maybe F1 that's locked this again. There's a glowfish right there. Probably fight it. How do you force attack again? Um, it's not shift. No. Oh, we can actually just talk to them. <laughs> I didn't know that they they were sentient. Um, let's see. How do you do force attack? Control. Okay. It's not a shift, but control. Alright, so there we go. And there's a glowfish corpse. Um, wasn't there another one? Yeah, there's that one here. We just need to kill a few of these things. Oop. just wanted to double check to see if they had anything to trade. Oh wow, we just killed that one right away. Okay, so we're actually a fair amount on our way. I don't know if trying to fight them while we're standing in water is slowing us down or anything. Our horns seem to do a good amount of damage, so that's good. Also, it's night right now. Um, that's why we can't really see anything at all. But we do have our torch, which is helping us a little bit. But you have to be kind of careful, because if you are going across the water and then something that um, is hostile can attack you, you might not see it until it's too late. There we go. Wait a little bit. How's our character doing? Um, 75? Okay, we're most of the way there. Oh no, there's Kudzu right there. That, um,. Kudzu right there will uh, make your gear rust, so you don't want to fight that unless you're doing it at a, at a range. Um, yeah, our combat seems to be going a fair amount better for us if we're trying to fight them from land. Oh, is this... this isn't water. What is this right here? Um, asphalt. It's liquid asphalt. <laughs> okay. Is that like tar? Oh, actually, is this what I think it is? Is this trash? I thought if you had Tinker, you... um. Let's just drop the trash for a second. Um, isn't the ability... Doesn't Tinker let you... Uh... Could have sworn that you can look through trash for good stuff. No, it doesn't look like it. Could have sworn that when you stand on trash as a tinkerer, you take it apart. Oh wait, no, we need scavenger. That's what it is. Well, there's some trash right there, so that's kind of tempting. I'm actually curious. What um, I don't have any uh item schematics. Okay, but we do have what we're carrying with us. But I'm just gonna keep that because we can't even build it right now.
what is this right here? Brackish asphalt. Well, that sounds gross. I'm stuck. Oh, that must have been like a web tile. I see. I really should have some bandages just in case we bleed. Yeah, we're bleeding now. We stop bleeding. We seem to be not too prone to bleeding, but I really should have bandages. Wait, why is it that I'm attacking? Tar encrusted bones. Oh, that, that guy just hurt us a fair amount. He's telling us to make a campfire to cook. I don't think we even have much food, though. Okay, that thing is really hurting us. Oh, it's actually day now. Maybe I can... Um, I think it automatically... We'll extinguish this, but I'm not sure. Let's just extinguish it for now. I'm curious if we're standing next to this corpse, will that let us make camp? Um, make camp. Oh wait, hold on, no. Oh, hold on, we can't make the camp right here. Um, right there. Can I interact with it? How do I do that? I think we need to be able to harvest food to be able to make a meal. So we need to level up first. I'm pretty sure we're close to leveling up. Twenty-five. Okay, so we need to, need to kill like three more of those things. Stay away from the kudzu. Oh, the kudzu almost hit us. Oop, we are bleeding. Hold on. Oh man, how how much would it suck if we started bleeding in the um in the salt water? That'd be funny if that actually hurt you. Okay, I think that we've killed most of the enemies around here. There's a lot of trash though. It's tempting me. Let's just keep on moving. Oop. We got to Red Rock, and we have leveled up. Um, how long have I been recording for? 28 minutes. Okay, I'm just going to level up and then probably end the episode here. Um, so we can... We've got skill points and mutation points. So if we go over here, we can... Um, upgrade our, our mutations, I think. How do we do this? So that would make us faster in general, 5% faster. Hold on. How does quickness compare to your your move speed. Oh, it probably also gives you attack speed. Um, I don't know if we want bigger horns or if we just want to be faster. Probably faster would be better. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll get more attacks off. 
what we need right now is food. So let's get harvestry. Um, hold on. Meal preparation. Oh, do we not have meal preparation? Oh, we need cooking and gathering before we can get harvestry? Yeah, we don't have enough for that. That's going to be a problem for us. Um, I don't think we have enough to do anything, really. And we could get a little bit better at attacking, but we don't have, like... I'm gonna have to think about this. Anyways, I'll end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.